Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a really cool one for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at this Crave Plus Pro. And here are the specs on the back in case you are curious. You can see here it is 20,000 milliamp hours, which is 76 watt hours, which is below the uh, TSA's predetermined. I think it's 100 watt hours. So this should be fine on planes. Charging time is three to four hours, which is a while, but this is a big boy. I can already feel the weight. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we've got inside. Now that we have the plastic off, uh, we can see it's got fast charge IC, 20,000 milliamp hours. Uh, same thing on the top here. And let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy, much like an Apple unboxing right there. American owned, quality products, best customer support, environmentally responsible, very nice looking box. And here is the product itself. I guess I'm gonna try to peel this. Yep, there we go. So you have to peel up the plastic just a bit to pull it out. Then we can rip this right off. And there we go. There is the battery bank. I do think they should list the 76 watt hours on their website and on Amazon, just because I was looking for that uh, before filming this and I could not find it. And I think that's something that a lot of people are conscious about when traveling with a big product like this being under 100 watt hours but anyways here it is it does have some weight i think it's 16 ounces uh, in the box it looks like we also have a little guide here so if you need to pause this if you lost yours there you go got three outputs plus uh, the usb is in and out it's usb c the other two are usb a now a long time ago we have actually reviewed a crave product on the channel before but they reached out again and wanted us to review this one as well so big shout out and thank you to them for sending this out free for review here is the warranty certificate, and it looks like it even comes with own USB-C cable. So these are quite difficult to get out. We have a USB-C to USB-A adapter, which is interesting. I've never seen a charger come with one of those, a backup battery. Let's pull this one out. There we go. So here is the USB-C to USB-C. Let's get it to focus. There we go. It's got Crave branding on both sides looking very nice. So let's set it up and test it out. So real quick, you can see here the currents. Uh, this is going to be 45 watts output, 30 watts in. So if you're trying to charge it, it charges at 30 watts. And for output, it can maximum output right here, 45 watts. So this is not gonna be enough to charge like a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Um, it's just not gonna be fast enough for you, but this should be fast enough for the MacBook Airs and the regular MacBooks, there should be no issue. Possibly the 13 and 14 inch MacBook Pros, but those, it's still a little bit below the 60 watts. So um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. You probably will get some juice out of it, but it's not the optimal charging device for that. So first, let's see how much charge is actually left in this. I have not plugged it in yet to see the power and it is completely dead. So I am going to have to charge this up just a bit here and we will give it a shot. All right, so I got it plugged in here and you can see this is what it does when it's charging up. It gives you a little bit of an indication of how much it's charged and uh, this is gonna take a while. Typically these ship with some juice in them, but this one does not. But we can quickly talk about the build quality while I wait for this. Crave always makes really good build quality. This is metal all the way around. Right here, all of this gray is metal. I believe these caps might be plastic. Can't really tell on those, but this is definitely metal. It's not entirely too big. Uh, put the iPhone 13 Pro next to it just for size comparison. It is quite a bit thicker, but you might imagine that for a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. If you look here, it does have two quick charge 3.0 USB-A ports and one input output USB-C. I do wish it had more USB-C ports for the price. I think the price is a tad bit high right now uh, for 20,000 milliamp hours with just three ports, only one being USB-C. There are some others on the market, but just as an overall review, if you're looking for that Crave quality in product right here with the metal and the solid build quality, I think that's really what you're paying for here. Just make sure what devices you wanna charge, if they have USB-A, if they have USB-C, uh, and if they are USB-C, you can use this little adapter here plug it straight into one of the USB-A ports, just like this, and then you can plug your USB-C device right in. You won't have an issue that way. So that is one way that they've kind of gotten around the issue of only having uh, you know, one USB-C port, especially if you wanted to charge this while using it. So let's go ahead and try that because we wanna make sure pass-through charging works on this device. So it is charging up. Let me grab a USB-C device and we'll see if it works. So I've got the Apple MagSafe charger. So I think this will be a great test here to kind of see if this works. Right now, this is charging up. You can see the dot flashing. Let's grab this right here. Boom. Will it charge? No, it will not. It is not pass-through charging, which is strange to me. All right, guys. So I've been doing some testing off camera. This is still only at one bar, uh, but let's double check and make sure pass-through charging works um, because that is something that's very important. If you're charging this up and you want to still charge one of your devices, pass-through needs to work. This is a very basic thing on most chargers these days. So this is still charging up with the blinking lights. This is plugged in. And let's see if it will charge my phone. Yes, it does. Perfect. So pass-through charging is working. I did find something odd earlier. If I unplug this here and I use their adapter, 
which I'm assuming this is how it's supposed to be used. Uh, and you plug it straight in here and then plug this into the phone. It does not work. Now, is that something on Apple's part here with this? Uh, I'm not sure, but neither port seems to want to work with that. So let's go ahead and try one other thing. I'm going to take this charger here and it actually has a USB-C port. So we are going to take this, plug this into here, unplug the Apple one, and we're going to plug this one straight in. Then we'll grab this, stick it on the back here, and there it goes. So pass-through charging does not work with their USB-A to USB-C adapter. Very interesting, I was not expecting that. So if I plug this back in, um, let's see what it prioritizes here. So now it's charging both. Very, very interesting. I don't know. That's something that's a little bit strange about this product here um, that I noticed in testing. Uh, so if you want to charge with this piece, this adapter, you need to plug it in while this is not charging. And once it starts going, then you need to plug this thing in. So you have to do it in a specific order. Otherwise it won't work. Uh, that is something that is very strange about this product, um, but it is what it is. If the creator wants to comment down below and explain that, uh, why that is they can but otherwise just know that is a quirk about this charger but that's probably the only quirk about this charger because everything else seems to work flawlessly this thing will be able to charge your iphone multiple times if you have a macbook it can probably charge that a couple times as well so you could really get this thing going you know plug all your devices in get everything topped up this would be great for traveling uh, i could see this being very useful just slip it in your backpack uh, good build quality. You don't have to worry about things hitting into it. It's not going to break like that. It's cool to the touch. It's also good for heat dissipation. And like I said, this can hold so much power that, you know, you really don't have to worry about outlets on a plane or even at a hotel. Charge this thing up overnight and you've got power all day. So yeah, that is where this thing really shines. I guess now the real test is going to be to unplug this USB-C port, plug this one in and give it a shot here. But I have no doubt this is going to work just fine. Charging my phone at 15 watts. There it is. No issues at all with this charging. So uh, yeah, you just got to know uh, what you're doing. Basically, if this thing's fully charged, you don't have any worries. But if you're going to try to pass through charge, you're going to use this little guy. Um, you have to know to plug this in first before you plug this guy in to power uh, if you want to use both at the same time. So overall, what are my thoughts on this product? Well, I can tell you right off the bat, the all metal build quality is awesome. I have a Crave charger from a long time ago that we reviewed and it is still going strong. So that is one thing that I really like about these is the build quality, the longevity, those are all on point. I do wish that the capacity was a little higher. There was another USB-C port and also that the price was a little lower. I think it's outclassing itself just a bit and some of the competition has lower prices. So that could kind of conflict with this one. If you are all in for Crave, definitely check this one out guys. And besides that, uh, just the weird charging thing, uh, if you are using the adapter, but most people probably won't run into that anyway, because most of you probably won't use that adapter. But that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have this product linked down below if you want to pick one up for yourself. Thumbs up, subscribe, peace.